Hello everyone, Jay here from Chandra Approaching, and welcome to part 6 of my Pokemon Platinum Sprite Editing Tutorial. Where again, I'm actually be showing you how to edit sprites in this video. But, this is something you can have fun with after you've edited a trainer in the game. Their sprites and all that. You can actually change what team that they have. And that's a lot of fun. Like, we did it where we changed the Elite Four and the Champion to uh, be teams that other members of our stream team got to pick. And that was just such a blast. If you watch any of our, uh, of the run that we made of this ROM, like in our description, uh, the finale is definitely the best part. But anyway, so if you want to have similar fun, you want to use a program called PPRE. We're not actually going to use Tink in this one, which is a shame. We've used it in every other one so far, but I'll miss you. Anyway, we're going to use PPRE, which comes with a couple other tools that I didn't need to mess with for our ROM. They're included in the tools drop box, also linked down below, uh, but they're not necessary for what we're trying to do right now. We're going to go right into PPRE. But first, what this has to do is it can only work with ROMs that are stored in its folder. Like that. You could just drag it in here, but I like to have backups just in case anyway, in case the ROM ever breaks. I have made so many backups to make sure that my final project didn't get messed up. I had to start over again. So it's just a safe method you can use. But anyway, now we can open PPRE. And what we have to do is manually set the name. So we copy this whole part, including the NDS, paste it there, and set ROM. Now, didn't show me anything here. Sometimes it'll give you a flash of a command screen, but as long as it doesn't give you an error, that should have worked. And again, I haven't messed with any of these features. I really didn't need them, but if you want to, you can, but I'm just going to show you the trainer button here. All right, as long as everything worked when you open this pick list, oh yeah. You're going to have a lot of trainers to edit. Now, the ones that we did first were the Elite Four, and they're around 260. There we go. Flint, Lucian, uh, Aaron, Bertha, there we go. And down a little lower is Cynthia. I don't know why they're ahead of her in the list, but, you know, they work out pretty good. So we can pick number 261, Aaron, and this is the first fight. Like, you know how you can fight them later after you've beaten the four the first time and they're stronger? They're entirely different listings that I'll show you later. But, so for the first guy, you can see that he has five Pokemon. You can see them by tabbing through. Like so. And the first thing that I did was to go to quotes. No, I'm sorry, not quotes. Was to, or was to go to main and set it to six. I'm a madman. I let them have six Pokemon. Now, this won't change anything until you click save and then scroll up one or down one and come back to here. And then you'll have a six tab, which will be blank. Then you can just come on down and pick any old guy like Venomoth. Say what level it'll be. I'll say 56. And then you can pick its moves. I'm going to make the greatest Venomoth there ever was. <laughs> Fire punch twice. No. Horn attack. Yeah. I don't know what these do. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you know, please comment down below. I I couldn't find a way, and I don't know if these ones would have done it, to, to pick the ability that the Pokemon would have. Because that isn't important for some Pokemon, and we had to avoid that when making our run. But as far as I can tell, I couldn't find a way to pick the ability, and no other tool I could find for Platinum could do it either. So, that's, that's a little rough. But now he at least has the six. And the other options you have at first, the quotes. I avoided this. It didn't seem to work at all. And I used instead the method you saw in part four, the text editing. Because everything they say in the introduction, the defeated, the one, or uh, anything else. Or even after you win and the third the elite four, they have extra spiel. That's all editable in the PL underscore message narc. So don't even worry about this if you're trying to do that part. Um, oh yeah, you can also pick if they have any items. You can have up to four. Um, and I don't know what these... Oh, okay, you can make it a double battle. So you could make it so the Elite Four also a double battle, which would be also terrifying. But, I mean, if you want to do that, more power to you. The options are here. Okay, and um, you can also set the trainer name. Like that. And 
that seems to work. Though occasionally I did see it change back on me. I don't know why. So if you change the trainer name, just kind of watch it and make sure that's still working on okay. And that's really it. So you do the same thing coming on down the list. Uh, uh, you do any trainer. I just did main people. You can change like the gym leaders, and everyone else. It works out really, really cool. And if you want to find them again later, you can come way down to the 800s. And somewhere down here. Yep, there we go. Down on 886 is the second Aaron fight after you beat Daily 4 for the first time. That's it there. And uh, so you just look at the list. You can find the gym leaders and things like that. Uh, the only one you may have trouble finding is the rival. Because I, I think I I can only guess that has something to do with the person who made the tool. That his rival name may have been Cedric. But that's, that's what it is. Oh, I'm way too far down. I need to be right around here. So every Cedric you see is the rival. And there are a lot of rival fights. And also, you see that they usually come in a pairs of three. Because they set it so that, uh, based on what starter you picked, they have a corresponding team just automatically stored. It's not a live adaptable one. But that does make it easier to edit, thankfully. You don't have to worry about the messing up the, the macro of picking the right starter. Um, but you will also want to pay attention to who it should be based on uh, if you randomize it. If you randomize it, you may start to run into some, uh, into some, well, not, not problems. It'll still work just fine. You just want to run into some confusion on which one to pick. So you gotta find your right Cedric. And again, I don't know why it's Cedric, but yeah, you'll see that he's here. I think if you scroll either up or way down, there's like a long line of Cedric. Yeah, there, there it is. So there's all of these, and you come down a little lower, there's a couple more here, and you go way down to the bottom, there's some more down here, so... <laughs> if you want to change the rival, just pay close attention to what team you want to do. Okay. And that's... that's really it. I don't think there's anything more. Like I said, there's a lot more options on PPRE, but... At the moment, where we're at right now, that is the extent of everything I know of how to edit Platinum. Uh, if you have any questions on things maybe I hadn't covered, if I know anything, I'll do my best to answer down below. Um, but, uh, yeah, there aren't any more scheduled tutorial videos from this point. And, uh, we'll have to see. So like I said, yeah, post a comment. Let me see what I can do to help out from this point. Uh, I hope these have helped you guys out, because... Like I said way back in the beginning, this was a year of my life figuring out how to get this far. And I think we covered most of it, making it a very fun stream series and a very good time. And I hope if you do the same amount of work, you have the same amount of fun as well. So, all right, as always, you have a great day. And I'll see you in some later video on some other topic, maybe, I guess. All right, bye-bye, everybody.